Hello and welcome to another exclusive Goody Reader video. This is Nick. This is Marcus. Marcus is going to take you through the brand new Barnes & Noble Nook Wi-Fi Edition. Now this will be the same hardware and menu system that the 3G or the Wi-Fi Edition will use. For uh, just this review, we're going to use the Wi-Fi Edition. Okay guys, so we've turned this on and when you turn it on for the first time you have to configure some menu options such as uh, your language, dictionary options and such. Uh, you can see here stereo speakers has a headphone jack as well as we have it plugged in and being charged right now. So just to give you an indication on this is the micro USB and we have it plugged in and charging with the wall adapter that we showed you uh, during the unboxing video. You can see it here at the top, this is where the power button is. So let's uh, turn this on and uh, give you guys a little heads up on uh, what exactly this e-reader has. Now, with the 3G original out of the box, we have previous videos on there and they didn't really have any of the game options that you have now. So you have different menu options here uh, with the Wi-Fi right out of the box. You have games. You can configure your Wi-Fi, uh, audio, music, and audio books. You also have a web browser and your settings. So let's just take a look at the options here one by one, as well as just to give you guys an indication that these are the page turn buttons. So this is designed for people that are either left-handed or right-handed. So you can turn the pages forward and you can turn the changes back. Now we've already connected this up to a Wi-Fi network. When you first power on your Nook Wi-Fi for the first time, it'll ask you if you want to connect up to um, a Wi-Fi network, as well as the, the Nook will connect up to any AT&T hotspot, as well as uh, most 3G AT&T coverage areas in the United States. Now, the daily basically just has news that's coming up on a day-by-day -day basis. This is written by the Barnes & Noble Nook team. So it basically has, you know, Columbus Day, um, you know, tips, tricks, help and stuff. Uh, your library is where your ebooks would be located at. So if you had ebooks loaded on your device, they would be listed here. You could also do things such as view your Barnes and Noble library view item details and options, check for new content. This check for new content is important, especially if you load ebooks manually on your Nook yourself. So ebooks that you've loaded from other websites that you've either bought in or that you've downloaded, when you copy the ebooks to your device via Windows Explorer, you can select this book option here which is check for new content and it will be synced and you'll see all the new books appear here. In a subsequent follow-up video we will be um, showing you exactly how you load ebooks on your Barnes & Noble Nook Wi-Fi. Now you can click the shop button when you're connected up to uh, the internet and you can do things such as uh, shop for ebooks, magazines, newspapers, uh, new releases, ebooks for under five dollars uh, as well as, um, you know, deals, Barnes & Noble recommendations, as well as new uh, Barnes & Noble Lend Me books. The Lend Me feature allows you to share ebooks uh, for up to a week or two at a time with family, friends, and loved ones. If you have bought a book and used the Lend Me option, the book will actually disappear for your, from your e-reader during the duration that it takes to... Um, you know, if you lend a book to, say, your brother or sister, then the book will disappear from your device and be transferred to your brother's device. And then when he's done with it or the time expires, it'll be transferred back to your device. You can click on this option here and browse the Lend Me bestsellers. So let's uh, take a look at uh, some other features here. Also, just so you know to scroll up and down here, you would hit the virtual touch screen menu at the right here. So this is how you would browse. And then if you wanted to say, look at the New York Times bestsellers, you would simply click this little zero button here, which is basically uh, an intro button. So you can see here the prices. If you wanted to click on a device or click on an ebook, you can purchase it, but you have to first register a Barnes & Noble account the best way to do it is to first register an account on your PC 
and then you can enter the details into your e-reader uh, via another menu option. So this is the Barnes & Noble shop. Reading Now, we won't show you that right now because that is uh, only if you have an e-book already loaded on your device. So if you're in the middle of reading a book, you shut your e-reader off, turn it into standby mode, you can go to Reading Now and just pick up where you left off. One of the new features in the Barnes & Noble Nook Wi-Fi is the games. It both comes with Sudoku and chess. So let's uh, just slow one of these up just to give you an idea on what it looks like. Uh, different modes here, easy, medium, hard, or extreme. We're extreme cats here at Goody Reader, so we're going to uh, play it under extreme. So this is the game here. So we're just going to exit out of here for now. Uh, again, they have a Wi-Fi option here, so if you never set your Wi-Fi uh, right out of the box, you can check out here. Airplane mode, so if you're on an airplane where the most air airlines don't allow Wi-Fi or 3G on a flight, so you can turn airplane mode on, and that will disable all of your Wi-Fi, or if you have the Barnes & Noble Nook uh, Wi-Fi and 3G, uh, it'll cease all the internet connections. You can also here click this button and check out a full list of Wi-Fi connections uh, in your neighborhood. Again, if you're on an AT&T network, it'll automatically connect up. Or if you're in a Barnes & Noble uh, bookstore anywhere in the U.S., they also provide free uh, Wi-Fi. It uh, has audio options here. So if you have uh, audio books or if you have MP3s that you want to listen to via headphones or various stereo speakers, this is where you would browse it here. Of course, by default, no music or audiobooks comes with the device. So it gives you a little op a menu prompt here saying load music via USB because there's nothing on there. So we're just going to close that. And let's take a look at the web browser beta. This is something that Barnes & Noble uh, just implemented. So, of course, again, this here's touch screen at the bottom. You do things, manage your browser settings, zoom, forward and back. It's basically instructions here when you load it for the first time, telling you how you can swipe and how you can, you know, browse the web. So we can tr type in go to and we want to go to a web page and by default this is the web page but we want to type in uh, a web page that's near and dear to our heart of course the if you look at the way that I'm doing this, the bottom is touchscreen, so that's how I'm entering my web address here. I'm going to click Submit. So this is a website, goodereader.com. So that's just an example of uh, the web page features here. And uh, lastly, you have your settings menu. You do things like do your Nook. This is where you would register it, tell you your firmware ver version. Uh, this Nook, of course, comes with a micro SD card. comes built in with 1.3 gigabytes. tells you your battery charge as well as your serial number and Mac address. In our opinion, this is a great new e-reader. It's just came out about a month or two ago, but in our opinion, if you're looking for a solid e-reader, uh, you can much get better than the Barnes & Noble Nook Wi-Fi. Uh, one of the things that we like about it is the LendMe technology that allows you to share e-books with family, friends, and loved ones. Um, but yeah, w this is heavily endorsed through us. We definitely recommend that you pick one up. The price is right. Retail, you're looking at anywhere between $139 and about uh, $154. So for good e-reader, this is Marcus. This is Nick. Everybody take care.